Empty your mind with a powerful Zen story for a peaceful life. Learn the power of emptying the mind in this captivating Zen story. Overcome fear, anxiety and worry. Embrace mindfulness and find inner peace. Please subscribe to this channel, give us a like and leave a kind comment. Thanks for your support. Once upon a time, in a small town among the hills, there lived a young man named Hero. Hero was known throughout the city for his restless spirit. He was constantly thinking, analyzing and worrying about the past and the future. His head was full of thoughts and he could never find peace. One day the hero heard about a famous Zen master who lived on the top of a distant mountain. It was said that the master possessed the secret to finding inner peace and tranquility. Hero decided to embark on a journey to seek the wisdom of the Zen master. After days of arduous journey, Hero finally reached the top of the mountain. There he found the Zen master sitting silently, with his eyes closed in deep meditation. Master, master, Hero said, I am here to seek your advice. My mind is restless and I long for inner peace. Can you teach me how to empty my mind? The Zen master opened his eyes and looked at Hero with a serene smile. Empty your mind. You say very well. I will teach you, he answered. The master Hero of Light entered a small courtyard decorated with a beautiful garden. In the middle of the courtyard was a large stone basin filled to the brim with water. Hero watched as the teacher took a ladle, dipped it into the bowl and scooped out a ladleful of water. He then poured the water into a smaller empty container. Now he was ready for Hero. The teacher said your job is to empty the pool. You need to transfer all the water from the sink to the smaller bowl without spilling a single drop. Hero looked at the task before him and was confused. How could I empty the entire water tank into such a small container? However, he accepted the challenge and started scooping water from the container. Hero dutifully scooped and poured, but no matter how hard he tried, the floor remained full of water. Frustration gripped his heart and his mind became even more restless. The Zen master watched the struggle with a compassionate gaze. He walked over and gently placed his hand on Hero's shoulder. My dear student, the teacher, said in a low voice, you are trying with all your might to empty the basin. But you have forgotten the first and most important step of emptying the basin. First you need to empty your mind. Master, how can I empty my mind? The teacher smiled warmly. Let go of your worries, your fears, your anxieties and all your attachments, he said. Just focus on the task at hand, stay fully present in that moment and the rest will follow. Hero took a deep breath and let out his frustration. He stopped trying so hard to empty the sink and instead focused on each spoonful of water, enjoying the sound and the feel of it. Gradually he entered a state of flow, his mind becoming clear and his movements becoming effortless as Hero emptied his mind and just started enjoying the moment, something wonderful happened. The basin seemed to respond to his newfound peace of mind with each spoonful. The water flowed effortlessly into the smaller container and the container gradually emptied. Finally Hero poured the last drop of water into the small bowl. He looked at the Zen master with amazement and gratitude. You see, the master said, when you empty your mind, you allow the universe to flow through you. 
you become one with the task at hand and everything falls into place. Hero realized that true peace and clarity had always lived within him. From that day on, he carried the wisdom of the Zen master in his heart and reminded him of it. In order to find inner and outer peace in life, you must first empty your mind of all fera, all doubts, all anxiety, all worry and just enjoy the moment. Yes, you should plan for the future, but live in the present day. You cannot live in two days at once. Please subscribe to this channel, give us a like and leave a kind comment. Thanks for your support.